Okay, now let's start and um, what we'll do now is um, we're gonna uh, take the team yeah, we have seen before and uh, we're gonna take this front team and we're gonna adapt it to the Laravel framework here. Yeah? So um, if you want to use the team I'm providing, I will provide the link in the description. Uh, you can download this team, so I'm gonna use in this project, uh, project but it's not um, necessary to, to, to use this team. If you have another team, you can use the, 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 the principle for, for adding, adapting the team will be the same, yeah? But for those who want to use this team, uh, if you go to this link here, um, here, this link, go and click on this button, and this button will provide you a link to download as a zip file or if you want to clone the project uh, you can clone it as well but uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, download the zip file and uh, inside of the um, inside of the project we're gonna have a folder teams team yeah where we're gonna have all the teams we're gonna have four teams uh, which one is for the front one is for the back end and uh, uh, the other two are for the register and um, login pages yeah so I have already downloaded uh, I have a zip file here and I uh, um, extracted here on the desktop and um, if I go inside I, I got a project yeah and I, as I said I got a team project inside here we're gonna use this one this one first so this is for the front end yeah this one okay so what do you have to do what you can do just copy this and um, I got a project in my local server which is WAMP uh, here is my project and uh, I got a folder theme where I paste paste my, my the team here yeah? and uh, when I'm gonna open in the code editor I'm gonna have it you know to be able to access it very easy yeah so once we got this we should start uh, do the changes yeah so um, if I will open that team this is the team I open it in uh, in the browser will look like this yeah um, what we're gonna do first we're gonna create the sta static pages yeah we're gonna change all this um, you know to from the state from static to you know to, to, to Laravel uh, dynamic you know like um, creating uh, routes and we're gonna uh, delete this page sample post and we're gonna add two more like um, you know the register and the login item on the menu here yeah so um, first of all let's see how the routes work in Laravel and because we need to create the routes to be able to access those pages yeah so if we go to the, the, to the code editor uh, if you remember the um, the routes are in the, in the routes folder and in this file web file right so here we have the root by default which is coming with the laravel installation w what this does uh, the root class instantiates the uh, call the get actually is calling the get method which this method has two parameters the first parameter which is this slash uh, is the name of the root yeah the name where uh, will be used on the browser for example in this case is just a slash yeah, if we go to the project this is the project um, installed by default and if we go to the slash will send us to this page and what this page page means this page means um, there there is a in Laravel we can create views like files where this will be like um, viewed by everyone yeah so these views are in the resources views folder yeah so you can see is there is a welcome file here uh, with the extension blade dot blade dot php Do, this blade is um is used um, just in laravel to be able to recognize some type of tags inside the, of the view um later on when we're gonna create it you're gonna understand how this works but at the moment we're gonna add this you don't have to but uh i think it's a good idea to stick with this uh, extension because we can use some use some specific uh, special tags in Laravel okay so as I said this get method 
uh, first parameter is the name of the root the second parameter in this case is just a function which this function return a method view uh, where it's looking for the view inside of the folder views from the resources so every time we using or we calling this view method yeah this view method refers to the views folder which um, what is doing is searching for the view in this case <coughs> is using for the welcome which exists here welcome without the extension right so for example the name I can add for example about right now and now we have the about if I refresh this page now the there is no root like this you know because I we have modified it with about but if we add about at the end this root exists now right and it's calling this view welcome yeah if we open welcome this is uh, all the design on here yeah all this page contains so now let's create our roots yeah for for our pages static pages and uh, try to create them okay so let's leave this how it was before and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy and paste it here right a few times okay so three times so i'll do home yeah and i will do the view home as well which uh, i need to create this uh, view inside the view folder right i will do the contact actually about okay and then contact i will do the contact as well okay so now if i do uh, if i do home if i go to the browser and search and type this root in the browser home yeah the root exists right but What is telling me that the view doesn't uh, doesn't exist is not been found. Okay, so we need to create this view for each of these routes. So let's do that. Let's go inside of the resources views and let's create the file. So let's create first home dot blade dot php. So this is the home page now. Um, if I go to the browser, if I refresh this, now I can see the home page, right? Because I created, and this is this one. So let's create for the other ones as well, about and contact. Okay, so now we have all three pages. If I go to about, I can see the about page and the contact as well. Yeah, so now I got the views, I got the routes, yeah which are here and I got the views but what I want to do I want to as I said before bring all the design from this template to my Laravel right if I go to home first what I'm gonna do let me just type enter press enter and now if I go scroll down to the folder teams so here I've add my templates right so here is the home template the front end let me just go i have index here so the the templates uh, i'm gonna use um, the files is index contact and about right so let's open each of uh, each of them and add the the content of each of them to the to the ones i created before right so let's do that i'll copy all this copy go to home delete this paste it let's go to the contact now or about go back to about and uh, the last one is the contact one okay and go back in contact plate okay so now if I go to the browser and refresh this I can see the content right if I go to the about as well so you can see each of the page has uh, the content but what uh, we can't see is the design okay the, the, the style so we're gonna do the, the style as well but before we do the style let me show you uh, how the the layout template work in, works works in, La, in Laravel yeah and how we can do it so if I go back to home 
you see I got this menu this menu it's um, it's calling sta static pages yeah if I look on here on the corner here right I can see you know the links which are static pages so let's let's create another the right routes here so if I go to home yeah I go scroll up and see this is the this is the menu here yeah this is the menu um, and I have a, a home about I will delete the simple post sample post because I'm not going to use it but I will keep home about and contact so as you can see here these are the the routes you know the where the links those links are sending us yeah but these are these are HTML static pages you know so I need to add the routes I have created here right which are these ones let me just make sure you you see the right thing i'm gonna i'm trying to show you yeah so these are, are the route i'm i'm trying to add there so let's do that okay so if i go here let me type here slash home yeah this will be slash about delete the extension html and i will add a slash in front and this contact as well add just a slash in front and delete the extension HTML now if I save this go to the browser refresh the page and <coughs> uh, if you can see in the left bottom corner you can see the roots and if I press this for example about is sending me to about if I go back home is refreshing the page because it's the same and let me just click contact as well yeah you can see sending me to the right page but what I can see here the menu the menu in the in in each page is the same like for example here yeah if I go um, go back to home is this is uh this is I mod I modified it be before and it's a little bit different but this as you can see is pretty much the same and will be the same for all the pages and I don't want to stay uh, modifying every header you know for that reason I need to use layouts layouts in Laravel is very simply to, simple to use and very very powerful so if you like this video please give a like and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our channel